There's a number of mistakes you're probably making right now that stop your Instagram growth, and I guess you're probably not even aware of it. We all know Instagram systems are weird, and their algorithms are known to just give you that sweet sucker punch at times, just because they can. However, the algorithms, actually, is merely just an AI, merely just multiple AIs trying to predict what people want to see, and you can actually positively influence it, which is what we're gonna talk about today. And by AI, I mean some computer system. Don't confuse it with some bad force that deliberately tries to manipulate your reach. What was that? Did I just hear a bing? Now, taking a look at some of my students, as soon as they stop doing these mistakes, this actually happened. So let's take a look. Did you ever hear about hope marketing? Maybe right now you even have a hope content strategy, meaning putting out content you hope and think might work well, but you don't really know. And that's absolutely not how it should be. We just can't build a sustainable brand online without having an actual strategy based on data. I mean, just imagine you get a letter suddenly from somebody who might've thought wasn't real. <gasps> Great Scott, Dominic, it's me, Doc Brown, coming from the year 2034. Uh, go to your car, floor the pedal, and don't hit the wall. I'll see you on the other side. I have some exciting news for you to finally beat the algorithm. Are you gonna be like, well, you know, chances are pretty high that I'll crash and die and it's not gonna work, but I hope I won't because there's a small chance, so I'll take it. Most likely not, because you'd be insane, obviously. Instead, you wanna create a strategy, execute upon that, test, and repeat. What's your value proposition? Who's your ideal audience? What's your content strategy? How often do you post? Do you have a content series that makes people come back? What about your community? How are you building that and how's that going? These things are probably just one or two percent of what you can and actually should do. And a lot of the times when I saw big changes in people's accounts and growth is when they realized they're not just another Instagram or just randomly trying to you know, put out stuff and see whether it works or not, but that they're actually a full-blown media company, even though it's just a one-man show, for example, all competing for attention with a purpose. So action step, my friends, take a piece of paper and write down your main purpose for your Instagram account. What is the one thing you're trying to do if you break it down to the core? Do you wanna help people, inspire people? What is the transformation, that's the big thing, that people get from consuming your content? What's their A, what's their B? Where do you want them to go? Anyway, based on what you wrote there, based on that end transformation, start to craft your strategy and start executing, then analyzing, then adjusting, and then executing again. And one day, you'll know exactly what type of content works what your best posting time is, what your community likes, and basically everything that you need to know in order to grow with the algorithm. But Dominic, is the Instagram algorithm pretty much crazy and broken nowadays? Reach drops are insane, and people can't grow anymore like they used to. Well, that's what I thought too for some time. And last year, I took a look at some of the accounts that we manage, some of our students' accounts, and taking a look at some data points and stuff like this, it seemed like I had finally found the answer. Post more content. One of the biggest correlations we found between accounts growing and increasing engagement was that they started to post frequently, like really frequently, like once a day, if not more. But then I thought to myself, that can't be, because while there's a lot of those accounts who are successful posting every day, there's actually a bunch of them where posting more actually decreased their reach and engagement. So what is it? The answer is actually a little bit more nuanced than that basically as with everything in the world. You can't just say post more and you'll grow. Instead, you need to maximize your quality content output. And to understand what that actually means, we need to go back to this content strategy part. And here's what I found. The most successful Instagram accounts seem to have found a sweet spot of appearing in people's feeds multiple times a day without a lot of filler content. That's the important thing. What's filler content? Stuff that you can technically omit. You know, cut out stuff that's not really moving the needle. Like the 27th time of you posing a mirror selfie with an ultra deep, deep one-liner caption. So what's quality content, AKA content the algorithm loves, and how can you always post quality content without too much effort? Cause I know you guys, you're, you know. Given the choice, which one of these two would you rate as being quality content based on a first look? If you've picked number one, I hate to break it to you, but no, it's not. 
for people who like Elvis and have no interest in photography. Same goes for post number two. While objectively speaking, the video has bad quality, it shows a pretty historical moment and it's as high quality as it can get from a content perspective for Elvis fans. And that's the important thing that lots of people forget. Content quality is dependent on your niche and your audience. And the algorithm is merely trying to predict what a certain subset of people like based on their history. So naturally, that's why our initial exercise of writing down the main purpose of your account is pretty, pretty important. Because if that's clear to you, you can now branch out and discover the various forms of content that bring your audience one step closer to getting there. You know, whatever it is, using different angles. And uh, that's why I still think Instagram's tools are pretty great for the whole audience development uh, sphere. With stories and reels and feed posts and guides, basically you have an all around suite of, uh, yeah, engaging with people and having people consume your content without it being boring. And that's another thing, don't be boring. So many Instagrammers are boring. Put up boring content like it's 2019. Now here's the thing. Everything that I've told you so far is pretty much for nothing if you don't get this last step right. Overanalyzation, aka analysis paralysis. One big, and I mean really big mistake that held a lot of our clients back was that they got too caught up in the details and short term vanity metrics and they just stayed in their own small bubble of creating the same boring content all over again while also wasting their time trying to figure out stuff that's actually not really important in the big picture. How many hashtags should I use, Dominic? Three or five? Five or 27? This one guru said I need to use 14 and I use 15 for over a year. I guess I'm doomed. I will never be an Instagrammer. That's, that's what people actually write me on a daily basis, just so you know. Hint, hashtags are not that important anymore in the sense of getting massive reach. And the other thing, just in general, is people worrying a tad bit too much about the algorithm, especially for things that you can't control anyway. Of course, it's important to get a feel for the Instagram algorithm, knowing what it tends to favor and what it absolutely hates. Don't get me wrong, the penalty algorithms and all of these things are just a pain in the ass. It, pretty bad if you don't know what you're doing in that sense. But besides that, I'd rather spend an hour learning more about my audience and how they behave than to watch five videos about the perfect hashtag strategy. Cause you know, in the long term, that's what actually matters. Especially with the algorithm becoming more and more a content understanding recognition tool. I'd rather spend time creating content, posting it to then be able to analyze and learn from it than to waste weeks of trying to create the perfect masterpiece there that you can put out. Cause after all, quantity does matter. Matter and you can't get real life experience just being in your head crafting some strategy. Talking about being in my head, what an odd letter that I got there. <laughs>